Okay, state your name for the uh, record. My name is Greg Ollers. Okay, Greg, um, your date of birth? Uh, 12 14 65. Okay, um, so you've been on the run for how long? Uh, since May 25th. Okay, and, and when we came across you today, um, what transpired? Um, you tactically um, moved in on me in my mother's garage and there wasn't, uh, I mean, you tagged me with the gun because of where I was standing and I had the gloves on, you didn't know what was in gloves, and you took me in custody. Okay. Um, as far as the round that you were struck with, would you say it was effective? It was very effective, not only from the noise factor of it, you know, of course I thought I was shot because I didn't know who you were for sure. Um, it was uh, definitely a good thumb. <laughs> Okay. You know, it, um, you've you've had run-ins in, with a law in the past, obviously. No doubt. Um, as far as any other methods that have been deployed against you, have you ever come across anything that rendered you incapacitated quicker without further injury? I haven't. I have not, except for uh, physical force has been the only other way. You know what I mean? And but I mean, but as far as as far as the next level of force, where basically a one hit or quitter, as far as a taser, bean bag, or what you were struck with today, would this be a primarily more effective? This device? is the most effective I've seen so far. As far as you know, naturally I'm reaching for a bullet hole in my, you know, I'm wondering yeah. what the hell. So um, you, so you believed you were actually shot when you were. Well, for a minute there, you know what else? You know, you're thinking worse case scenario well um, it definitely stunned me I mean it, it takes a quite a bit to knock my big ass down that definitely made me wonder what the hell happened okay can you uh, show us your wound this is this is one hour later correct yeah okay all right and as far as things that you've been hit with before with as where would this rank as far as wanting to have it deployed against you again uh, I'm not wanting to take another one right away, especially, uh, I mean, if it was to hit you, that was the place to hit you because of the rib action, you know, I kind of knocked the wind out of me or whatnot. Um, that was the most effective I've seen, really, you know? Okay. So I'm going to give it a 10. Okay. And as somebody who's had contacts with the law, do you think this would be a safer method to, de as far as a less lethal option to deploy? By far, you know, um, if we were out on open ground, it maybe was a, it would be a different story about, you know, if you were to shoot me in the back with it, I probably would keep going. Um, but being cornered in my mom's garage, you know, that's another story, you know, it was, you know, you guys did it perfectly. Okay. As far as, you know. So you're saying for a long range, you probably wouldn't think it would have enough impact to stop you, but in a close range situation, it would I be... I think it would stop a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, not, not everybody's, I mean, because you're, how big are you? I'm six foot, you know, 250, and, you know, not that I'm in the best of shape, but, you know, it usually takes quite a bit to take me down, and that thing... And, and in your history, it, it takes a lot to bring a guy like you down, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Um, anything else you'd like to say about what no, happened? it was the most civil way to be arrested there ever was, you know, but, um... I was slipping, you guys caught me. That's it, you know. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.